right, I think we should be live. Right. Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this video, live video, um it's been out on TV tonight so I thought I would I was doing some on my laptop and I thought I'm gonna go live. I'll do a live. I'll do a video. <laughs> um I'll do something popular for once for one of my videos. Uh, a lot of people play Wordle so I thought I would have a go at doing a, a live Wordle. Um, on my desktop here I've got a file of oof, quite a few words, they're all five letter words ready for the actual game um, and how I've got them together is in fact let's have a look So I've got 475 words that I'm going to play in my game. Uh, that's more than enough. Um, I'll struggle to get them most likely. Uh, but if I go to desktop where I've got my script, <coughs> um, basically um, in here I've got a file called words.csv and if I cut that out there we go. So, 475 words of 3,000 words are actually five letter words. So, that's what I'm playing with. So, I've already done that bit. Um, but I'm going to create the whole layout and everything um, in this video. So, thank you for joining me for my live video, whether it's a recording or not. Let's get cracking. So, let's bring up a new file and we're going to work with our file that's on the desktop so I'm going to save this as in my desktop and I'm going to call this Wordle obviously so um, I use a Python to Kinter library a lot so I'm going to use that for my um, for my graphical user interface so I'm going to import to Kinter as TK and we're going to use random because we uh, want to choose a word out random. Um, so I'm going to have my main window called root or app, whichever doesn't matter. Um, tk dot capital T K. So that's creating that, and I'm going to create a title. So let's go with root dot title, and we're going to call it Wordle. A lot of people play it. I don't really play it myself, but I, there's a TV program on in the wherever you are from. Uh, this is UK um, ITV channel. I don't know if it's currently on at the moment, but sometimes when I get home from work on time, I get a chance to watch the end of a program called Lingo, uh, which is kind of like Wordle, but they do um, four letter words and five letter words and six letter words in the game. So I might do something after I've done this, you know, bring it across something like that, I don't know, we'll see um, but anyhow, in this one we're just doing Wordle <coughs> um, so I've created my my window, um, I've got a title I want to have uh, I want to have a darkish background um, because if I in fact if I bring it up you shall see that it's only a little small box at the moment and it's pretty pale, so I'm gonna sort that out. Let me just shift this window over. There. So I can put that above me, out of way, and have you over here. Right. <coughs> so what I want to do? Uh, I want to have some variables, so I'm going to have them here. Um, I'm going to have some functions. Um, when you when you 
um, when you do key events, um, it'll well it'll trigger an event, um, and I'm going to have a function. Um, so I want um, a function for my key events. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to have a check word function because I need to check if that word is correct. So we'll go with that check word, and we're going to have a layout. Um, this will be obviously the layout. Um, and what I'm going to do is in my layout, I'm going to create my function called layout, and it's not going to take any arguments. Um, and basically, it's going to have a. I'm going to run through a for loop so that I can create all my buttons in about half a dozen lines of code rather than doing each button. You'll see in a minute, and I'll explain about what I'm what I'm meaning. Um, so for I'm going to call this row because I'm going to do my rows first. So row in. Um, range of now there's going to be six goes on Wordle that's how it normally is so I'm going to pop it in there six and then I'm going to work on my columns for call in range um, there's going to be five letters um, it does actually start on zero it never gets to the six or to the five <coughs> and you will see this slight delay da -da, da -da, da -da in my camera. There's nothing I can do about that I'm afraid. Um, it's it's a Raspberry Pi that I'm working on. My super duper Oak Pi laptop that I put together. Yay. Um, but yeah, it works good. Um, and I'm live on YouTube now recording. So it's good. Um, right, if I create a label, um, they look a little bit flat. So I like to... I did a was it now? I did a a memory game. <laughs> Trust me, I not remember it. Uh, a memory game where it's basically a load of buttons, and you click on the button, and it reveals a number or whatever, and you got to find the other one, matching pair, basically. Um, and I did this sort of similar sort of style of creating that. Um, so I think buttons look better. So I'm going to go with buttons. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we go with btn is equal to tk dot button. I'm going to post this into the. Well, it's going to go in the root window, but I want to create the game so you have a new game. So basically, when you have your window pop up, it'll say instead of file, it'll say new game, and you click on that, and it refreshes everything on the window. So I'm going to put this into a frame, which I'm going to create in a second. Um, frame, <laughs> that'll do. Um, and we're going to have our text as um, just going to have a space in it. Um, and for the sake of it, just so it doesn't throw out, uh, I'm going to set a width to equal one. Um, I want to have a I want to have a background colour to it, so let's choose a colour. So I'm just going to bring up a web page colour picker. Slot down, uh, but the white, and then the change color when you put your stuff in. Um, so we'll leave that there. In fact, we'll get us colors now whilst I'm on here. Um, so we'll have a nice bright and green. Yeah, that 
looks lovely. Smashing. So we'll take that, copy that, copy, pop that into our variables. Um, so we'll call this green. And this is going to be a string, so we're going to put a hash because it's going to be a hex value. Paste that. And we want a yellow, YOLO. Um, is equal to do that, that, too many. And we're going to need a dark grey, grey button here. Uh, Use this color before, I think. Um, yeah, we'll go with uh, <coughs> equals hash four C four C four C. I've used that one before, um, and the yellow one's a nice super duper yellow because all of it looks like yellow. some more variables to be fair if we're gonna well, I'll come back to them in a second let's sort the uh, the uh, buttons so I want my actual background of my button to stay white so I'm gonna add in white um, and I want to have I'm just gonna drop this down so it's not too much <coughs> code on the screen um, it's called an active background for when you hover your mouse over it so I'm going to set this to white as well um, otherwise it changes the colour so I'm going to set that so it stops that um, oh and we want to font won't we um, make it a bit nicer so I'll set font equals to a font variable and I'm going to set here Font is going to be equal to. I've used this many times. Verdana, and we'll go with 38. I'll do. Right, back to my variables. Uh, no, let me sort my buttons out first. Right, so basically, I've put that button in there, uh, but I need to actually add it onto the screen. So I'm going to put uh, btn dot grid because we're going to use the grid layout uh, and the row will equal to the actual row here so when it first runs it will be on the row zero and then it will work its way down and the column is equal to col for the columns that's going to go across and we'll stick a little bit of padding on the x axis we'll go with three and we'll do paddy paddy um, we'll go with five right so that's as buttons created uh, nothing's going to be in but we will be able to see them on screen now so if I press run um, I'm not calling a function so that's why it's not popped up Do <laughs> there we go oh frame is not defined because I've forgotten to set my frame never mind right frame is equal to tk dot frame um, whoops and this is going into the root window and we need to frame dot now I can use grid but I don't need to because I'm only sticking a frame in there um, I'm just going to pack basically it just sticks it into the main window um, <coughs> And that's it. I hate that red writing. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> so there we go. We've got our buttons on there. They are clickable, but nothing happens because we haven't set any events to 
happen at the moment. So I'm just going to get rid of that red writing because I don't like to see it. I don't like to see errors, Martin. So I'll just uh, get rid of that. But you learn from your mistakes, apparently. Uh, I need to cancel that, I think. So I can't adjust that window. There we go. Nice and tiny. Get out of the way. Right, so. Excuse me. <coughs> Right, so I've got my buttons there. Uh, what I want to do is put the buttons um, each time you, well, when you create a button, it creates, creates a, an instance of this button. Um, so I want to put that somewhere so I can refer to that. So here I'm going to call uh, letters. Uh, we'll go with an empty list at the moment. And what we'll do is we will uh, letters dot append and um, we're going to append the um, button basically and that's going to put that into that list so I can call that later on okay cool um, and we also need to bind our keys um, but we don't want to do it through the layout section so I'm just going to drop down to here. Um, let's just bring this up a little. Um, so I want root dot bind. So it's going to bind the keys. And you need to do it in with a capital K. Um, is it key or keys? I can't remember. I think it's key. Anyway, we'll try it. If we get a fault, we'll get a fault. But it just means we get red writing again. <laughs> Um, I'm going to call this function that we're going to put in the keys events up there as key uh, underscore pressed and close that off. Right, let's create that function so we don't get a fault. Right, define our key key. That sounds a bit strange. Pressed. Um, and this is going to take an argument as event so that it can react to the event. Um, <coughs> first of all, let's just prove that things are working. We'll print the event um, dot char character, basically. And we'll print to, well, we'll run it now. Uh, I hope we don't get a fault. Yeah, it should be okay. Oh, awesome. Kep pressed. Who's Kep pressed? Never heard of him. Where is he? Kep. Awesome. And I've got the red writing again. Cool. <laughs> right, so I've got my window. Um, I've got my buttons here. Nothing happens because I've not actually set a command in when I've created these buttons. Um, but when I press a key, so if I press the letter Q, it's pressed, uh, sorry, it's printed to the screen, Q, here. If I do T, Y, um, O, P, L, K, etc. There we go. So we're taking our letters. But what we want to do is we want to put them into this and create a word. So we shall, <coughs> excuse me, try to get rid of a cold at the moment. Um, so I've got a letters list. I want to know which letter I am clicking when I actually start it. Um, so when you press the button, it's going to say, right, that's button zero. I want to put that letter into that um, button that's into the letters list. You'll see in a second. Uh, right, so I'm going to call this letter. Uh, letter count, that'll do, nice and long, uh, but it explains what it is, makes it easier for you to actually uh, understand what I'm doing, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so rather than printing it there, let's get rid of that, and we want to, uh, we want to refer to So we'll, yeah, we'll go with that. Let's
letters and we want to call the uh, letter count um, and we want to call the text section of that button uh, equal to event dot um, char for character um, but I don't want to have it lowercase uh, I want to have it uppercase so it's everything looks a little bit better so I'm going to type in dot upper and what we need to do is we need to every time I press a button it adds into that them buttons and we want to actually increment our letters count so I will type letter count plus plus equals 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 one so basically it increments that there but it won't do it at the moment so I need to create that and tell it to work with this variable here otherwise it will say um, not defined or referenced or whatever it says global um, letter letter count and it should now when we press a button uh, it should populate the top section or start working its way down so if I do W E T O P is that a word? <laughs> Lived um, devil <laughs> but you see what I mean it basically it's going through these letters when it creates um, the layout um, it creates these buttons puts it into me uh, letters list and I've moved it off um, basically <coughs> yeah so it creates them and this is the handling side of where we press the button it pops up um, and what we can do here is um, so it looks a little a little more better let's do Letters. Uh, uh, letter count dot focus, and it will actually sh light up the button that you're actually working on. Well, not light up, but it'll bo put a box around it. So if I press W, see how we've got the black border, E, T, R, E, etc. Right, let's have a quick drink. <coughs> right, um, so I've got my list working, but now I need to create my. Whoops, sorry, that's probably loud in your ear. That's uh, it's loud in my ears, anyhow, if you did hear it. Um, let's bring it back up. Right, so when I enter a letter, um, so I've got my first letter, where we've got we lived, so I've got five letters. So when we've created five letters here, and then letter count will equal to five, because it's adding on. Um, I want to then check my word but I need to create a guess so let's create a variable called guess and it's going to be equal to nothing at the moment and in here um, and we'll create our we'll put it above there we'll go guess and I need to make that as a global otherwise it won't allow it um, guess <coughs> guess equals the current state of guess okay dot um, sorry I want to add the not that <laughs> event dot char dot upper so it's going to put that in as uppercase. Okay. 
So that's going to create my guess. Um, now, if we have five letters, so if letter count is equal to equal, but it's not going to be five each time. So I need to do uh, what's called um, modulus of five equals equals zero. So basically, that basically that means if it's if letter count every time you add it up if there's if it's in increments of five then it's going to do this bit of code underneath so then we will do check word function um, and we will pass in our guess so now let's go in here and create our define check word function and it's going to take our guess as an input uh, argument sorry um, and let's just make sure things are working correctly so let's just print the guess a moment and then you'll see that every time I enter letters and get five letters in it will bring that function into it <coughs> um, so lived so it's printed it there uh, or do devil only know two words now you see how it's adding it on because that's what we're saying here so when we need to check guess the first time we need to go back in and basically guess equals nothing again and now it will just do that one word and then we can start looking at uh, checking against our words hello I'm not using enter, I'm just typing in the words. Liver, if you like liver. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Right, so what I want to do now is check my guess. So, because I'm creating. Um, this and it's going to be five letters and I want to refer to the the letters that are put into the buttons I want to use um, I want to go back five digits on that letter count I could easily just do minus five but I'd rather have a, have a variable so I'm going to call this um, button index will be equal to <coughs> letter count um, minus five okay so that's going to be that uh, and then I want to look through each of the buttons so rather than using a letter count now I'm going to use the button index as looking at them letters so we'll do another for loop so for I and we'll look at the letter in a new rate and we want to look at <coughs> our guess and we are going to um, well if the word is correct well if the letter is the right position then we need to set it to go to green so we'll go with um, if uh, letter uh, equals equals um, word and then we're referring to the I which is the index um, then we want to do the letters letters um, then we refer to our button index background equals green that should make it green and let's do an L if so else if letter in the word at all um, we want to create the letter
letters um, button index and the background is yellow and if anything else um, then we'll have letters button index and refer to the background as I used to grade in there Confidently. Hey. Um, hello. Awesome. Word is not defined. Why is that, Martin? Why is the word not defined? Because we need to pass it in. As we haven't actually set a word. <laughs> Let's just set a word. Uh, I can't believe I didn't actually set a word that we're going to work for. So we'll go with hello for now, uh, and then we'll sort out adding in the big list that we've got on our desktop. And I've got my red writing again. No. Right. Um, lift. Right. These are white. I weren't expecting that. Um, haven't done that because we haven't added our button because it's referring to the button index what a wally never mind right set that down there button index plus equals one no 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 I don't need to do that I mean, I've got I there. Why am I doing that? Dear, dear. Right, so I've got button index plus. Did I press that twice? Nope. I. So now I'm going to. Oops. <laughs> see how this is what I meant earlier by the active background it will change the color of it and that's why I set these so that when you go over them they stay white so I want to set the same for the active background on them to stop that because I'm really mean um, I'm just going to copy that I'm just going to pop that in there and change that to active background and now because I've got that written in I'm going to copy that line hold that one down there change that one to yellow go over them, it's not changing them. Cool. Um, and we know hello is the correct word. It's not gone green. Why is that? Hmm.
by a yellow colour. Why is it doing that one but it's not doing them ones? So that is in the word. should use the chat and uh, see if uh, if somebody's telling me I'm doing something wrong <coughs> clearly I am why is that doing that to see if my ideally shells just acting up in the word and the guess that is not equal to that then it should go into there and that is button index R plus I should go yellow <laughs> the word's hello I'm going to put a huh Do you know why? Because my word is in lowercase. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> oh dear. The simplest of things. I'm sure somebody's probably noticed that. Um, I wonder what the comments will be calling me silly. Uh, lived. Yep, there we go. Um, hello, everything should be green, cool, and low. Oh, um, I didn't mean to do that one there. Uh, it's in the correct spot. Right, there's a bug. Now, like I say, a lot of people have done these videos and they do it to a certain point, and I don't think they're checking all the letters. And I don't want to point it out to there. I don't want to comment on other people's code because people probably start picking on my code. Um, but basically, I've got too many L's there, and there should only be the two green ones that are actually there. And these should be in grey because they're in the wrong spot, and there's too many L's. So, um, how we can get round that is by. That was just there as a fail safe, so take that out. It was because I didn't have it in capitals like a, a Wally. 
Um, so I can do this by checking the letters, how many letters are in the word. <coughs> so let's do um, if letter not letter if guess dot count because I can't count against me on letters can I um, <coughs> um, but I want to check against the letter um, is greater than or equal to one um, or if the guess dot count of letter um, oh side equal equal to um, word dot count want Sorry, this is going off of the thing, but I'm coming back now. Um, so, because we've got that there, we need to um, shift that over. And if there's too many letters, then we want to have I want to have this basically. No, no, I want to have this one. To be grey. Uh, in fact, I want it in an elf statement. It says me writing it because I'm super duper lazy. Copy that. Backspace, pop that in there. Shift that over. Shift that over. Right, so basically it checks the word, checks the letter count index uh, back by five, goes through each letter, checks if the correct goes green if they are um, if the letter is in the word um, and the letter count is more than one and it matches it will do the correct color if not it will do the incorrect positioned letters uh, as gray <coughs> and any wrong letter will be gray Right, so the word currently is hello. Let's do lived. We've got an E and an L in hello, obviously. And we want to do lel. Oh, right, so we've got our. Oh, that's gone gr yellow. That should be grey. Oh. So I lived. Oh, what have I done here? I've entered something. Must be string or. one as well. No! Got the red writing back. I hate that red writing. Anyhow, lift. Da -da. Um, Lello. Hey! And hello. There we go. We've got a working game. Cool. Right, so let's get rid of the red writing because we don't like to see that. <coughs> don't like to see faults. 
Right, so we want to make sure. Um, in fact, that's something I didn't do, is it? Now it's going to fail, uh, but Wordle only allows you to put letters in. So if I do hello, misspell obviously with a number nine, it does come up with grey, but we don't want to have numbers in there because it doesn't make sense. So if I sort my window out again, and hopefully I won't get any red writing to get rid of again. Um, right, so when we're doing the key pressed, uh, I can check um, and see what these letters are. So we'll do if <coughs> um, event dot char is greater than or equal to the string of a. dot or a dot even um, char is less than or equal to a z or if somebody has the caps lock turned on then we can do it against the event dot char um, equals oops greater than or equal to a capital A and event dot char um, is less than or equal to a capital Z just press return and let's get rid of that line lot over boing so now when I do it oh, well, at least they didn't get me right right in no I've missed off that's because I did the there we go now we'll do it right checking if we haven't entered proper letters so h e zero seven eight five four three um, equals minus colon yep so it only accepts the actual letters cool so that's that sorted out um, now we need to know if we have a working sorry if the game is well if we have a winner basically so winner equals false and in here we want to have a um, no point 
going through this bit of code if we have the correct word. Um, if guess equals e equals word um, winner equals true. basically do all this a bit of code. Shift that over. Right, so now when we get a winner situation we won't be able to carry on entering letters. Um, so I'll do lived here yeah. and we'll do hello. Oh Martin, this is why I should have done it at the bottom. Because it's not gone green. So we've got our green letters and we are still entering letters. Why are we still entering letters? Because we haven't referred to winner as a global. Um, so there we go. Winer? No, I don't drink wine. I prefer my black currant, thank you. <laughs> made with hot water. No idea why, I just do. <coughs> right, let's try that. Lived and hello. It's gone green. Can't enter any more letters. There we go, we have a game ended situation. Cool. But now we need to have a button so we can then have a new game. So let's go down to the winner, the, the layout even, and here um, we need to have a, um, let's class as a menu, so I'll do menu equals tk.menu, and that's going into the root window, which is the main window, um, and we need to um, root dot config um, and this might seem weird but menu <laughs> equals menu um, so it's telling it that it's to put it as there um, and then we'll have a new underscore game equals tk dot needs to be another menu I'm afraid and this is going to go into the menu section um, my dog's outside the door, back door's open to keep going Lola shh don't start grumbling at people um, I'll just pop it there for now and we will do a menu dot add command um, and that's going to be um, label don't use text on this side so label equals new game you want to play a new game um, and I think that's all we need Nothing will happen when I click the button because we haven't told it to do anything. Right, so at least it's there. 
which is a bonus. Um, right, so to clear off all the letters, we need to clear. Now, the root window is the main body of the window, the frame is the bit inside of it. So, I need to delete all the frame and then repopulate everything. So, because frame is a global, we're being out here at this point here. Uh, I need to make that as a global. I messed up the word. And again, frame. Um, so, we're referring to the frame and we want to frame dot destroy let's blow it up right so we're basically getting rid of it and then we're creating it again and it will create a new frame so tk dot frame it's going into the root window um, I didn't do anything else with it did I? no um, frame dot and there we go, that should create a new game. So let's start that. And let's do a couple of goes. Can't beat a bit of liver. We've all got liver. Whether you're vegan or not, I do apologise. I don't mean to offend anybody. Um, sorry. Hello! Got the correct word, can't enter anything else. Um, new game. Nothing's happening. Cool. I should have done something else. TK's men menu. And we want to. Is it menu? No, add command. Uh, hmm. Well, simple reason. Command equals um, layout. <laughs> if you don't assign anything, it's not going to do anything. Martin. Uh, I won't put it again, so I'll do that. Um, it, if I want to start again, just click that. Clears it all, and let's get going again. Oh, I've got the red writing again. No. Um, what is the problem? Ah. We need to clear the. Yeah, we do. We need to clear the letters. Yep, we need to clear the letters list. Because <coughs> that's throwing up uh, uh, an issue. So. dot clear so it's going to clear the whole list um, is there anything else that we need to refer to um, if we have a we need letter count again so that needs to be zero so letter count equals zero and that will need to be a global as well <coughs> a quaint I don't know what that is uh, I think that should be all we need five letter word. Uh, let's try a new game there. Try entering some new letters. Cool. We've got our hello. We've got it correct. We've got it in one go. Woohoo. Um, Yelp. Oops. Ah. Well, there we go. Winner. <laughs> uh, we need to refer 
over to our winner again. Equals to false. Otherwise, we won't be able to add any letters in. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I need to refer to that. Copy that. Get rid of that. Paste that there. Now we should be able to do it. So let's do some dodgy letters. Let's do a new game. Let's do the correct word. Oh. What? out of range. <coughs> if that recall the word I that's weird. That I don't know why that's come up. <coughs> if it miraculously took a button key press and it set two letters in as one of the buttons that's weird anyhow can't answer any more uh, which is good new game let's get going and what did I try earlier Seems okay. We must have done that. Never had that before. Was it because they didn't finish the word? Yeah. Uh, letter A for letter. Ah! That's why it's not. I didn't finish. Hmm. But let account is set to zero again, so it should have incremented it. String index out of range. Did I press enter or something? is in this part so let's just print letter count just so we can 
see what's going on. So if I do a five letter word, let me get it. That's correct. New game. Now what we did was we did a couple of letters, then we did a new game. And then if we do see now we're getting that fault again. Hmm. And that's correct word. So that's five. That's five. Let's see what the length of guess is. It's took them for uh, right. Yes, that is the issue. Uh, we need to clear the guess again. So guess equals nothing, and now we shouldn't get that fault. Um, if rather than doing that, let's just stop printing out the guess. Try that. in, start again, hello, and we still get it, what, I should have left that print guess on there, I shouldn't do that, oh, do you know why, do you know why, because I haven't put that as a global variable, and that is the reason Get the correct word, can't any hurt, add some letters, start again, do some word letters, hello, got the correct word, start again, let's do two letters this time, and then start again. I'll then enter a word, and then hello. There we go, everything's working, cool. And we've got the dirty red, whoops, red writing. Let's get rid of that, because we don't like to see that. Uh, but we want to work with all of these words here, these 475 words, was it? Um, so in our script we want to pull them words in so let's do a little comment and get um, the words from a file and we've open let's grab the it's called five
what was that? Um, if I type in words, it shows me all of the words. But hey, why have we got this? That's because of the new line, so we can get rid of that by adding in here um, a colon and then minus one. And now it should just do. Um, I don't want to see that. I want to have my words list. Oh, we still don't have it. Why is that? Basically, it does everything up to the last letter, which in theory is the return. Words, 54 lines now. There we go. Woohoo! Right, so we've got our words, and what we want to do is when we create our layout, we want to have our guess. Uh, not that. We want to have our word equals random dot choice, and we're going to pass in the words list. And because this is in this function only, we need to put it in as our global, and then it will work in the other functions. Um, and I don't know what the word is. So let's see if we can figure it out. Um, hello. So we know it's not hello. About. No. Are we going to get any letters? Um, yo. Nope. Oh dear. I've done the same mistake here as I did earlier. in lowercase isn't it so I need to do dot upper up here <laughs> um, so yes nope I can't put that in there in it. Awesome. We're doing well. Um, about? Nope. Uh, need some more words. Great. Ooh. So A is obviously the third letter. G-R-A. Grass. Yay! Dude! <laughs> there you go. I did Wordle. Right, so that's it. Um, I've done the game. Everything's working. I will stick it on my GitHub, but I probably won't do it tonight because it's half past 11 and I've been on my live stream for probably 
an hour, an hour ish. Um, yeah. Well, we got there. Um, that's it. Working live, doing all the code from scratch. That's um, how things go. Um, I don't have anything to work around. I'm not copying on for anything, so um, I think it's the best way to learn is doing it that way. Right, well, I would like to thank you and every one of my Super Duper X subscribers. Um, and if you've liked it, if you've found this fun, um, then please, you know what to do. I'm not going to say the words. Um, but thanks for watching. And I will see you in another one soon. Possibly when there's no on TV again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm just killing my stream at the moment. Um, which is doing it by FFmpeg. And now when I press enter you're going thank you for